fine. First of the month, no returns. For God's sake, man, just such a child. Oh, get up. You know what today means. It's Christmas! No, it's December 1st. Go back to sleep. Oh. Well, just make yourself useful and give me a coffee. Deck the halls with bells and holly. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh. Hey, there's no point groaning. We had a deal. I'd shut up about Christmas until December 1st, which I'll have you know has been really difficult. And you promised to stop acting like Ebenezer Effin Scrooge. I know. Make our first Christmas living together the best one ever. I know, I know. I've been planning this for weeks. It's going to be epic. Here. <laughs> I know that's a lot of stuff to do. I know, right? <laughs> We're going to have the best time. A wreath-making workshop. Mm -hmm. You booked us into a wreath-making workshop, seriously. Nothing cements a relationship like shared arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. Ice skating, Christmas karaoke, movie marathon, shopping trip in London dressed as elves. You'll look divine in an elf costume. Not happening. Look, Ned, I can see you've put a lot of thought into all this, but it's just too much. <sighs> what? Why can't you just enjoy Christmas like a normal person? Okay, one, you can be normal and not go loopy over Christmas. Oh. And two, you know why I'm not exactly thrilled. Oh, oh I get it. Parents splitting up is shit, but... You know, it was 20 years ago. Wow. I'm sorry. It's sad that it's still ruining Christmas for you all these years later. It's split up on Christmas Eve, Ned. How's it not going to ruin Christmas for me? Uh, no, I know. It's terrible, but... At a fancy but... dress party. All my family and friends were watching. My dad was dressed as Santa and Mum was dressed as Bloody Mary. Cocktail? No, the mother of Christ, you idiot. Oh, right. A weird combo. No, I'm sorry. I can see it still upsets you. I wish I could take all that away. I know. Well, the thing is, you saw how crazy I was about Christmas last year, so it shouldn't be like a surprise or anything. Yeah, I just thought you'd tone it down a bit before we actually moved in together. Why would you think that? <laughs> Here. We're together now, so you have a reason to be happy at Christmas. <laughs> I am going to get one made every year until we have a whole tree full. What do you think? I think you're lovely mm -hmm. and I love you. Mm -hmm. But it's tacky as hell. That's exactly what Christmas should be. If you'd stop being a jangle for one second, you should be fast page. I think you're like a jangle. It. Yeah, Christmas hater. Opposite of a jingle, a Christmas lover like moi. You just made that up. Nobody says that. Well, the biggest jingle I've ever met, that's for sure. Oh, that's it's tracked, baby. Christmas themes. Mm -hmm. Now that's something I can get more excited about. Mm -hmm. Come here, Comet. No, no, I'm prancing. You're Comet. You can stop talking now. One for you, one for you, one for me. No, I got me as many calendars. One for mornings, one for evenings. Look how cute they are. I'm surprised you didn't go and eat all in one go. <laughs> yeah, that would be ridiculous. There's something seriously wrong with you. Yeah, have a coffee to go with the sugar rush. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Remember we said tasteful, bless his Yeah, mind. yeah, I know. It's Christmas, I to wait too long. No, it's the room. Christmas, I'd 
It looks really lovely. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe we have a tree up so early, but fair play, it does look good. Wait, something's missing. <laughs> Perfect. All done? Yeah, uh, almost. What do you mean? I've got the rest of the day off. I'll finish up decorating while you're in work. You know, just a few little touches you won't even notice. Okay, I'd best be getting ready for work. Please promise me that you won't go OTT with it all. Mm-hmm. Hello? Doesn't it just fill your heart with cheer? No, it's filling my head with a migraine. I'll get you some paracetamol. Look, Ned, it's been a long day. I just want to get an early night. But we're watching Love Actually tonight on the planner. We'll watch it tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we're baking the Christmas cake. Ned, I'm tired. I'm sorry. Seriously, why is all this in our room? I can't relax in here. But it's our very own winter wonderland. Don't you just adore this bedding? I don't know what to say. Look. <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> you really don't get me, do you? So is this it now, or is there any more tap that you want to fill our home with? <sighs> You're such an ungrateful bastard. Good job, I love you. I swear to God. Well, now you can, because he's right here for some reason. He's not even supposed to be out till Christmas Day. Leave the baby Jesus alone. What has he ever done to you? Look, babe, it's been a long day. I just want to get in early night. <sighs> Fine. A spoon first, if you like. Right. We need to talk about the plans. Oh, it's going to take military precision to get everything done by Christmas Eve. Mm. Mm. I'm collecting the snow machine in half an hour. I need you to... Um, yeah, about that. I was just I was thinking maybe we could not go to the party. Have a quiet Christmas Eve instead. Look, our, our cooks have been special, and we can finally watch Love Actually. Oh. oh. No way, you love the party. Sarah and I have been planning this for ages. 
Everyone's coming. I'd just rather not go. There's too many bad memories. Oh, well, we can make new memories. Happy ones. You know, lay all your old ghosts to rest. Plus, Mother Mariah Carey out of it cost a fortune. There's no way we're not going. Why well, have you got a costume? It's a fancy dress. If you'd bothered to read the planner, you'd know that. Who were you going to go as? Oh, I was thinking you'd make a good George. God rest his soul. I can't believe you thought fancy dress was a good idea. What, do you think it was going to fix me? I'm not your therapy case, Ned. Look, I've gone along with all your crappy Christmas activities and I've put up living in this... this tacky grotto all month. But now you're just taking the piss. Oh, now, uh... I'm sorry, I, I should have... No, you know what, oh. I've had enough. I want all this... gone by the time I get home from work tonight. As far as I'm concerned, Christmas is over. Deck the halls with boughs of holly Tis the season to be jolly You look terrible. Great help, Mum. Well, you do, I'm just saying. How are you holding up? I feel terrible. I miss him so much. He won't answer any of my calls or my texts. Well, he's in a bad way, sweetheart. You really hurt him. Give it time. He knows he put too much pressure on you with the planner and the party and all of that. How do you know about that? Oh, we went shopping yesterday. Oh, you've got to get back with him. That man knows how to find me clothes that fit in all the right places. Great to see you're only concerned with your son's happiness. You know I want you to be happy. I know, but how am I supposed to associate Christmas with anything other than my parents arguing and then getting a divorce? I'm not trying to blame you, I'm just saying I've learnt to forget about Christmas and just move on. Well, that strategy clearly isn't going to work when you've fallen in love with Buddy the Elf. 
What do I do, Mum? How do I get him to talk to me? Well, you can start by coming to the party tonight. Do you think that would work? I don't even know what I'd wear. I could see if I've still got your old fairy wings. I never had wings. Yes, you did. You were the Christmas fairy or angel or something. Don't you remember? That's what started off the argument between me and your dad. Great, so you're saying it's my fault that you split up now? You don't remember, do you? Oh, sorry, love. I thought you knew all about it. And no, of course it wasn't your fault. Me and your dad had had problems for years. But that night, I finally decided to stick up for myself. And you. He was livid. Said no son of his was going to be a fairy. And he didn't just mean the costume. I told him if he couldn't accept his own son for who he is, then he didn't deserve to be a father. Oh. So... How about remembering that night for how badass your mother was, hey? Now, I think you've got a party to get ready for. Oh, you came. Hi, Sarah. Um, I don't want to cause any drama or anything. I just really need to speak to Ned. Is he here? Y yeah, he's here, but... I don't think he wants to see you. Ah! What are you? Oh. Hi. Hey. I'll leave you to it. I'll check the snow machine's working. Oh. George is a Christmas angel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good idea. There's a whole story about the wings on. I'll tell you later. Oh. Cool. But Ned, I'm really sorry about everything. I miss you so much. I love you. Please come home. I'm sorry too. I know I can be a bit much sometimes. I just, I hate it. Yeah. It's for you. I want to be with you this Christmas and next Christmas and every Christmas and I'd buy you a whole lorry full of bloody baubles if I could, but one, they're too expensive, and two, don't... Shh. You can stop talking, yeah? All I want for Christmas is you. So bloody cheesy. <laughs> Do you want to be back or not? No, dude. Come on, let's get this party started. <laughs> Is that the...? Yeah, she still has it for some reason.
to hurry up and be over waiting in the dark without love without care Shake, never shake. 